States can compel online retailers to collect sales tax, even without a physical presence in the state. It should come as no surprise that online shopping has had a noticeable impact on traditional, brick-and-mortar retail. From the alarming rate of mall closures to the shuttering of traditional big-box stores, all the signs point to the simple fact that more and more Americans prefer to shop online these days, and chances are, you've joined that very same trend. But it seems like the days of tax-free purchases might be coming to an end. As reported by NBC News, the Supreme Court has ruled that individual states can now force online retailers to collect sales tax. A little background info might be in order. Both in 1967 and 1992, the Supreme Court ruled that states did not have the power to compel mail order catalog businesses to collect sales tax unless an individual customer happened to live in a state where the company had a physical presence, which could include a distribution slash shipping center, an office building, or a retail location. The reasoning behind this? The court argued that the volume of mail order sales would be minuscule when compared to in-store sales and that the burden would be too great for companies to correctly tax mail order customers, especially when you consider the varying tax rates from state to state.